if you're joining us in reading about the Bible story in 30 days, today's reading is Genesis 6, 9 through 8, 19, and the devotion is taken from verses 6, 17 through 22. Now, if you've not read this passage, please stop and do so now. Well, in these chapters, we're introduced to Noah and his family. We've gone from one couple, Adam and Eve, to the entire world population. We don't know exactly how long this took, but it wasn't overnight, and it wasn't millions of years. What we do know is that God will begin to focus on one man and his family to return Earth to a more livable situation. The world had taken a deep dive from the time that Adam and Eve were cast from the Garden of Eden. Their first son killed his brother Abel, and out of control populations started from there. By the time Noah arrived on the scene, the world was an absolute mess and Noah and his family stood out from the rest of this population. Well, God gave Noah a command to build the ark. He gave him 120 years to do just that. Now, I'm sure that during these 120 years, people ridiculed Noah for what he was doing. He wasn't building an ark by the ocean. He was building it on dry land. He wasn't building an ark to simply be a pleasure craft. He was building it to rescue the world. He could not have possibly known what it was going to be like after the flood, but he certainly knew what it was like before the flood. Well, have you ever taken a long time to build something? Possibly you um, had a house built, and it may have taken several months, or maybe it was as a year. There's a house in my neighborhood that took well over three years to build. And it wasn't because they stopped building it because they ran out of money, and they didn't stop building it at all. It took that amount of time because it, frankly, was huge. How much do you trust God? Do you trust Him for your daily food? Do you trust Him for your weekly or monthly pay? Do you trust Him to lead you to a school that you might have a successful career? Do you trust Him to lead you to the other person with whom you're going to spend the rest of your life? Most of us can handle this uh, providing day-to-day -day stuff. And some of us can handle the trust that he is providing for our monthly needs. Few of us trust explicitly for him to guide us in the schooling or training we need to walk our lives in. And um, frankly, fewer still take time to spend years in prayer that he would lead us to our lifetime mate. Well, initially, Noah trusted God for 120 years. How long have you gone trusting God in your life?